What's up everybody, it's Michael or Penguino007 here today for another reaction video to Internet Historian. I didn't expect another video to come out for another six months. <laughs> I mean, he did it in like two, three weeks, so I'm pretty good. The virus strikes back, so the virus, the virus part two. Sorry guys, it's uh, currently, well, it's Friday morning, but it's... Thursday night. I would have recorded this Monday if uh, I had time, but you know, college and all that stuff. So let's just get into this reaction. Nither's asleep because he's always asleep. Thank you. Thank you, all of my children. We're here today to test the launch of my new cyber rocket. With this, I pledge to you that we will have a man on the Earth by the year 2030. But before we embark on this journey, we must talk about some of the mistakes of the past. So that we are not doomed to repeat them. <laughs> anyway, it was a sunny day in downtown Wuhan and people were coughing into each other's mouths as is customary in that part of the world. You're going viral, douchebag! I'm a big man, and I'm gonna pull out my dick. What the heck did you just say about me, you little cashier? I'll have you know that my husband graduated the top of the class in Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous one-star raids on Yelp with over 300 lawyers. I am trained in making formal complaints and the top 911 speed dialer in the whole entire suburb. You are nothing to me but just another con convenience. I will phone the heck out of your manager with a sense of entitlement that licks you have never seen before in this department. Blah, blah, blah. Fucking Karens. February 2020. The virus is everywhere. But some were sneaking out. Yeah, I said that's but Not taking it seriously at all. Directly in my face. People were outside, going about their normal lives. Get drunk before everything closes. It was time for drastic action. So, the mayors and governors from around the world gathered together with a solution to the problem of sneaking out while grounded. Snitching hotlines. Snitches get rewards. Simply take a picture of someone and text it to the official snitch line. To put those rule breakers in their place. As in gold. Over here at Wendy's. What a scoop. Instant justice. Some people need to get the message. Send a photo, and we will make sure that enforcement comes right away. But naturally, many New Yorkers did not take very kindly to this idea. So, they decided to text the hotline as well. Text after text came rolling in. <laughs> what a success. Let's open the first one. Surprise. Turns out people weren't just sending in tips. They were sending the whole shaft. Oh, Jesus. Next one. Next. 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 Just close it. I can't. It's just going faster. Text after text was the same. Pictures of people giving the finger. Dick pics. Edgy Blasio memes. This isn't helping at all. Sir, our servers can't handle this amount of erotica all at once. Well, save some of the more tasteful nudes on this thumb drive and shut it down. And so it crashed. But the snitches forgot the first rule of snitching. Mm hmm. Snitches get unmasked by state sunshine laws. In Missouri, they have them. Two weeks after their own snitching program went live, turned out it was all subject to public record by anyone who requested it. So not only is all of this information not anonymous or private, oh, there's this it's published the ghost Karen. on the government website with zero redaction. Oh dear. Of course, I'm not going to put any of those details here. Never heard of this. But if you live in Missouri and you're a bit curious, the links as always are in the description down below. In Washington and Louisiana, people were unmasked too. In Frisco, Texas, they made an app for snitching as well. But there was backlash, and it was terminated. In L.A., the mayor's infamous snitches get rewards statement was walked back. In Victoria, a couple was fined $1,500 each for going on a drive to Lake's entrance and posting photos on social media. You there, sir? Uh, I certainly hope you've got a license. Well, warned that if they do it again, they would be arrested. Except the photos were from a year ago. We're not going to get everything right all the time, and we will make mistakes. But worst of all was the UK. 
Nine coppers for yeah. one lad? Well, you you're relax. ridiculous. Yeah. 194,000 calls <laughs> in a single month had been made regarding people leaving their homes without a license, and tens of thousands of fines had been issued. The British frowned down on telltales. There's even an old nursery rhyme. Telltale tit, your tongue shall be slit. You make any more noise, and I'm calling the police. Show me what you've got. What a bunch yeah. of bitches. And yet, while normal everyday activities were being criminalized, regular <coughs> crimes were being made de facto legal. Good job. And in major cities, it seemed as though everyone was going for the high score. Rioting. Looting. People aren't afraid to go out on the street at night. What can we do to increase crime? Lockdown. I have an idea. In New York and LA, they experimented with reducing bail to zero. And it went exactly as you'd expect. But it wasn't enough. So they said any burglaries up to a thousand dollars worth of goods would no longer result in the police showing up to the scene. So you're telling me that I can steal what up to a thousand dollars worth of goods and the police won't even try to make an arrest? Well, <laughs> well, maybe one day if somehow they're identified. But you want everyone to wear a mask too? Yes. So people walked up to the buffet and had their fill. If you could walk into a store, grab what you want, and just go, what would shopping look like? Oh my god! Call the police! Welcome to Amazon Go. Amazon Go, fuck yourself. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. Take whatever you like. Sometimes when I call 911, nobody answers. No lines, no checkout. No, seriously. Shoplifters don't seem to care who's watching. Once you've got everything you want, you can just go. Filling bags and backpacks in the middle of the day. You can keep going. Amazon Go. They started catching those people. Not enough crime. Release the felons. So it was ordered. Anyone who had non-violent misdemeanors, serving sentences of less than a year, or scheduled to be free in 30 days or fewer, was released. And the results? Predictable. One man only lasted 37 minutes before being arrested what? again. Another man was arrested three times in one day. First for attempting to break into a vehicle, next for stealing items out of someone's front yard, and then again for stealing a vehicle. And each time he was arrested, he just moonwalked out of there. For his seventh time, he got arrested for stealing a vehicle. So apparently he's not very good at it. Crime rates went right through the ceiling. Hmm. That famous criminal what the fuck would you expect? Tachi 6 9 was released early from his 18-month sentence and instantly broke Instagram and YouTube. And he should have been locked up. Because nobody likes him. His music is shit. Records with his live stream and music video. Other high profile names asking for early release include R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, Martin Screlly, and our good friend Billy McFarland. Breakout time! Then some prisoners came together with an idea. What's your plan? Well, if we have an outbreak at our prison, then maybe they just have to let some of us go. Worth a shot. So prisoners at the North County Correctional Facility tried passing around water containers and shared a mask to get it. It worked, somewhat, as 30 prisoners soon tested positive for the virus. But then administrators cottoned on to what they were doing and none of them were released. And then they died. Grats, you're an idiot. Lockdown was dire for some of the others. Give a thought for celebrities. They're all suffering in their $5 million mansions, right? It's not like you were confined to like one room apartment buildings. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> this should be fucking great. Sorry for pausing. Speaking of people who should be in prison, 
celebrities. Ellen, fuck we Ellen. Forgotten about the important people. Guys, we're bored too. They crave the attention. They need it. Without it, they will surely shrivel and perish. But when everything gets shut down and they're trapped in their homes and can't get on TV, they begin to go a little stir. Okay guys, now I know we're all feeling the struggle right now. Without television and press following you around, you need to make yourselves trend. We need you now more than ever. Jimmy, Jimmy, female Jimmy, you're the funny guys, <laughs> you must continue working from home. Your biggest competitor now is a Swedish boy that reacts <laughs> to funny videos on his kitchen floor. Sounds doable. Floor <laughs> You! Toilet paper, a huge box of, I was like a kid on the toilet on Christmas morning. 60 double rolls of heaven. You get to play that fun game, protected from the coronavirus or a botched nose job. Or both. Everyone in here is gay. Hello, everybody out there. No, no, shut it down. How about an uplifting song to boost morale? This could be our generations. We are the world. Yeah, I can give it a go. I love uplifting music. Thank you, gal. Imagine there's no heaven. Bad taste. Imagine there's no heaven. This is not the time when everyone's Grammy's dying, you fucking idiot. Imagine you feel no like they that they feel like they did something yeah. significant. Yeah. She's so happy. Gal Gadot, whatever the fuck That's her what name I is, did Wonder for. Woman. I lost my job at the meatpacking plant, but Gal Gadot sang Imagine. And it's a terrible that. version. <laughs> you guys suck at singing. Yeah. Thank you. Oh boy. Madonna, how about an inspirational speech to lift those faces? I mean, spirits. That's the thing about COVID-19. It doesn't care about how rich you are. But for the common good. It's the great equalizer. And what's terrible about it is what's great about it. What's terrible about it is it's made us all equal in many ways. And that's how? Terrible about it is that it's made us all equal in many ways. Jesus Christ, maybe just stick to singing. Cause there's no more pasta, oh no. We're gonna eat some fried fish. Okay, not bad. Let's try somebody else. Keep it positive, you know. The last shit comes from motherfucking China. Thank you, Cardi. You really are the voice of reason. Government, let me tell you motherfucking something. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Well, that was fucking autistic. Maybe you can speak to your fans. You seem to have a lot of free time at the moment. Like, yeah, people are gonna die. It's just terrible, but like, <coughs> inevitable? Oh god, oh geez, we're losing them. So insensitive, your so disconnected. Isn't relatable at all. We need to meet them on their level. I've got this. Cry for a second. I was gonna do it by myself and then I thought you know what it's important for everybody I just gave up <laughs> God damn it. Stop before I continue add time oh add time <laughs> the name's Ray Ray Khan but you can call me Raycon man. Dad, look, I got you a present. Thanks, son. Uh, let's go throw the old football around in celebration of my new present. Wired headphones with wires. Hi, <gasps> son. Why? You're responsible. No. Never again. Gotcha. Wired headphones, you dangerous bitch. Wait, what? Huh? I can't hear you. I have my everyday E25 Raycon earbuds in. I'll save you. What? Well, uh, there's another one. Don't worry, I'll save you too. Now you two kiss. Six hours of playtime, half the price of other premium brands. Raycon good, wires bad. <laughs> Will you seamlessly connect your Bluetooth with me? Can I get a closer look? Wow, I love the range of colors they come in. Of course I will. Let me just put them in right now. Wow, they fit so snug. Wow. 
I think I'll put mine in as well. Just don't insert them into other holes. Hey, Doc, it's happened again. Come good. Wires bad. No, wait. Cleaning is as easy as one, two, three. What's wrong? Don't want to live in cyberpunk and have your brain all f***ed up by 5G? Uh, Houston? Uh, you see me? Raycon good. Wires bad. And he's dead. Go to buyraycon.com slash internet storage. Save 15% off your first order of the everyday F25 earbuds from Raycon. Add over. Onions, humble yellow onions, onion, six pound onion, gripping the onion like a tennis ball. It's time for an uplifting story. All right, pretty good and candy. 56 works at Mumbai Airport. Everything was going into lockdown, and he wanted to be with his family. But they were in Allahabad, and he was stuck in Andheri East. Just fly, no flights. Just drive, not so simple. Roads are closed to all non essential travel. Hmm, what to do? So he hatched a plan. I'll become an essential traveler. He started with a test case. He hired a truck and drove 200 kilometers to Pimpelgium. Bought 1,300 kilograms of watermelon. Mmm, so good! Come to terms with the already large quantity of melons we already have. And sent the truck <laughs> back to Mumbai, where he had a cellar. Success. Wasn't stopped. Even sold the goods at a profit. We're an essential traveler now, boys. Time to do it again, but this time all the way home. And with onions. So he hired another truck, got an onion permit, and this time bought 25,520 kilograms of onions. And the article says he disguised himself as an onion seller. <laughs> I don't know what that looks like, so here's this. He then hauled ass 1,200 kilometers over three grueling days and nights through three states to get home. He makes it. Now to sell the goods and see my family. He stopped at the wholesale market just on the outskirts of town and tried to find a buyer for the onions. Except, nobody wanted them. Onions? Anyone? Onions? Because of the lockdown, there was a huge glut in the market. Whoa, that's a big onion. Look at that. Oof. Onion. Everybody onions. onions. Anybody onions? 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 No. Daddy's coming home, and he's smelling of onions. But the late afternoon, he just gave up and drove the truck to his house to be with his family. However, the next day, knock knock, it's the police. Oh no! What? You're not here to buy some onions, are you? And they were not. So he spent the next two weeks in the quarantine center, and he's still looking for a buyer for the onions. No! Wait, that was it? Is this what I mentioned last time? People talking about the hand sanitizer crisis? Go away. Another f don't. When the outbreak first happened, there was one clear piece of advice from the WHO. Oh. Wash your hands. Yep. Wash your damn Both fucking hands. Soap and hand sanitizer would work. But we had plenty of soap. So naturally, we panicked about the hand sanitizer. Good thing. That's gold. That's gold. And panic soon turned to profit. There's one US People guy. Had seen the rush on toilet paper and they knew to get in quick. And two of the fastest shoppers in the West were entrepreneurial brothers Matt and Noah. They hopped in their truck and drove from town to town, state to state. I think they got sued. Every bottle they could get their immaculately disinfected hands on. Hundreds. Grabber, grabber, grabber. By the end, thousands. 17,000 bottles in all. The plan? Sell them on eBay and Amazon at a huge markup. It was the perfect crime. Well, until the inevitable happened, everyone got super mad. 
the New York Times, low on hand sanitizer themselves, decided to investigate the brothers, and they wrote an article. The unsterilized masses made complaints. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. Please send the cops immediately. And then someone went to Jeff. Oh, that fucking Karen. Told. Jeff made their online accounts go to sleep. eBay followed suit. Now there was nowhere to sell their goods. Then the law got involved, and the DA said, price gouging illegal. Yep, me there it me. is. So the authorities called up Matt and Noah. Hey guys, hey, good to hear from you. You too. I'm afraid it's not entirely a social call though. Oh no? Yes, price gouging illegal. So what you want, uh, prison or philanthropy? We're sending over a squad car now. I have decided to give back to the community. So the police pull up, the media too, and Matt and Noah announced that they will be giving it all away for free. <laughs> they did an interview for television and wore this amazing shirt. The pricing on Amazon was higher than, it was definitely higher than retail. Would you say you're sorry? No, I don't think that I would. But note, a similar thing happened in Adelaide, Australia, when a man bought up hundreds of packs of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Then he realized he couldn't sell it and tried to return it all back to Drake's supermarket. Drake himself told the guy to please leave. I told him that. He has a YouTube channel, by the way. But this Whoa. did little to abate the shortage of supply and overall price gouging. But don't be too mad at these guys. They're small timers, microscopic, compared to child. Stop! Oh, sorry. What I mean is, compared to the brave heroes at the CCP. Whoa, there's an outbreak. Xi Jinping, you're our only hope. So a call was sent out to companies all around the world, especially in the West. We want you to send staff out to every retail store you can to buy up personal protective equipment, especially masks. And ship it all back to China. Thank you, Xi Jinping. All in a day's work. The scale here, by the way, is just ridiculous. Millions of face masks. Three million masks. Two point four billion pieces the of protective fuck. equipment. The moment is seven hundred thousand hazmat all suits. All flown out on a private jet. We just wanted to ask you guys what all these products are and where they're going. If you went out to buy a mask in January or February and noticed that there were none left, it wasn't just because there was a big rush on them. It was because there was a big export. And then when other countries had a shortage, the CCP swooped in to sell locally manufactured masks back to Europe and the United States at an escalated price. Only then later for them to be found defective and needing to be recalled. Got him again. Anyway, Fucking back to China. hand sanitizer specifically. There was a shortage. So New York Governor Andrew Cuomo stepped in with a solution. New York and LA were two biggest fucking his places. New line of hand sanitizer. Open the curtain, please. NYS Clean. A 75% alcohol strength concoction made by the humble citizens of Great Meadows Correctional Facility. Floral bouquet. Little I detected. Lilac. <laughs> Hydrangea, tulips, what does it smell like to you? Tulip. They were capable of producing a hundred thousand gallons every week. It was much cheaper than any other product on the market, mainly because the price of labor was pretty much zero. Other pharmaceutical items that disappeared fast were vitamins, cough medicine, and critically, inhalers. How many ohms you vape in there? It was tough for the asthmatics already picked on for their <laughs> feeble bodies. Their weak lungs, embarrassing. Everybody laughs at the asthmatics, even if we, you know, pretend and say nice things to their face. The next big one would be gloves. Once they were recommended, there was a run on them too. And once those were out, there was a run on, surprisingly, condoms. The thinking man's glove. If you need to press a button on the elevator or push a trolley around the grocery store, no problem, just use your cock. <laughs> story. I think I saw this clip. I didn't believe it either, yeah. In the medical center in Delhi, there's a gang of monkeys scheming. Son of a bitch. I'm in. True story, right? Some red-faced rhesus macaques, tired of their situation, 
Oh yeah, they went outside they and they stole a case. A researcher, snatching COVID blood sample as they make their way to the exit. Give me that. I saw this no, story. No, 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 put that down, bad monkey. They make a break for it, evading staff and guards, and leap out the window to freedom. One was later seen in a tree, chewing on one of the samples. In a further act of defiance, another was seen chewing on a surgical glove. Apparently it's become a big problem in Delhi. Monkeys everywhere. They snatch people's stuff and even break into homes. Even it seems kill? that nature isn't just returning peacefully. It's come back with a vengeance. And if we intend to survive, we're gonna have to learn to fight back. Punch the tree. Become Steve. Ugh. So anyway, with this knowledge, we will conquer Earth and rule over it once again. <coughs> oh no. It's here. And that's about it. Probably no part three unless something ridiculous happens like an autonomous zone in Portland or the government eh. utilities. Plugging the second channel again, you bet. We've got a feature length Sundance review coming out in a bit over a month. This one's going to be over an hour long, so grab some popcorn, Aww. maybe a little viewing party, watch your favorite streamer. This one will be more fun as a group. But before that, next week, there's a new In the Field. Thanks for watching. Stay good. I would like to see the autonomous zone, but I mean, I watched Memeology 101 for that. Holy fucking shit, people are so fucking retarded. Oh my god. I want to see a video on Portland, just on the autonomous zone. Holy shit. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, do whatever the hell you want. It's not to me, it's up to you. And let's see if this video, how bad the ratio is on this video. See ya.